Hey guys, before we get to the video, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia and wanted to do a video because I get one question more than any other question it seems like. I get this question on my Facebook and my videos and everywhere and that is what is the best brand? Who's good, who's not? And one common trend that you'll see across our industry is most heating and air guys can just about all agree that the brand matters less than who installs it. So the installation or who installs it matters more than what brand you select. Of course, we all have our preferences. We may disagree on who's the best, but ultimately we can all agree that usually the installer matters more than the brand that they install. And so the question becomes, I've actually gotten this question, what does that mean? What does it mean to have a bad installer versus a good installer? And that's what this video is going to cover. In fact, if you found this video, we're gonna do a series of videos where we're gonna talk about bad installations, bad installers, and some examples that you as the homeowner can sniff out and find if you're getting a good installation or not. So check out this video, but check out the whole entire series. And our goal is to arm you, to help you figure out if you're getting a good installation or not. Stay tuned. Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about drains. And this is a big one because especially in my part of the country, I'm on the coast of Virginia and we're already a state that's known for having higher humidity, especially in the summer. And we're also a state that has all four seasons. And being near the water, humidity is a huge, huge concern when we're installing heating and air equipment. And so to piggyback off of that, when we're talking about drains, I have several things that we do to make sure that it's installed properly. And also let's get that moisture out of the house. So I don't even like drains that have just a little bit of fall and you know, you got, you know, the, the water comes out of the air handler or the evaporator coil and it just kind of trickles out. I want to get it out of there as quickly as possible. Let's get rid of it. So we see drains all the time. They have no fall or they have very little fall and that's an issue. We'll sometimes see problems where the installers did not connect the drains properly or primer the pipe properly. So if you're talking about PVC lines, you wanna make sure you prime and glue it. We also see where they'll sometimes screw in male adapters into the drain pans of the evaporator coils. They'll either crack them because they're trying to be a he-man about it, or they'll sometimes not even put any sort of Teflon tape or pipe dope on the threads and then they're leaking because of that. Another thing is having a trap installed. If you're installing a drain on a system, you should have a trap and a vent installed on that drain to get rid of it. What are we talking about? Well, the P-trap is just like plumbing in your home. It's gonna have a little bit of water that sits in there, not allowing critters to come back up through the pipe and get into the system and things like that. But also it stops unfiltered air getting into the system during certain times of the year. And when we're talking about the vent pipe, I see these installed improperly or wrong all the time. And that's just the plumber in me. I also have experience in plumbing and I see where folks will install vents improperly or not at all. And it's just like if you've ever drank a Coke, you take your straw and you cover the end of the straw and you lift it up out of that Coke, how the soda will stay inside of that straw. It's the same concept. You wanna have a vent to be able to displace that water with air so that way it can go ahead and drain out of that home. We'll see drains all the time installed with the wrong glue, believe it or not. So not all glues are created equal. If it's not a glue that's meant for the type of pipe, so if it's a PVC pipe, it needs to be a PVC glue. It needs to actually say it on the jar. You can use it for PVC. And we see all the time folks not using the right kind of glue We'll see where they didn't think ahead and now it's freezing the pipe. And because of that, it'll back up in the house. So if you have say a condensating furnace and it drains water out during the winter and they don't think ahead of, oh, well, if they do it this way or that way, it could freeze and back up into the house. In those locations, you might have to insulate the drains 
or not allow it to be exposed to certain elements or whatever you gotta do. And the last thing would be clean outs and things like that. Just thinking ahead, if this system's gonna be maintained like it's supposed to be, and the drains are gonna be cleared like they should be, thinking ahead of that and making sure that everything is installed properly. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. The last thing I'll say is if you're in the market for a new heating and air system and you're in Virginia in the Middle Peninsula or the Northern Neck, give Griffin Air a call. We'll give you a free estimate and the best warranty in the area. But if you're not in our coverage area, check out my new website. I've even got a little banner up here, newhvacguide.com. Check out that site because we've put so much information on there. It's as if I wrote a book telling folks, hey, here's the good and the bad. Avoid this or that. I've even got a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from. And so before you spend thousands, check out that website. And finally, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.